guys, welcome back to the videos. We're just jumping right in it today because we are very, very busy. We have some track prep to do for the S2000 and we are getting this thing ready for Button Willow. This is my first ever time at Button Willow. And if you guys don't know, Button Willow is like a legendary time attack track like across the whole world. So this is gonna be very, very cool. I'm very excited. But today, like I said, we're just getting some prep done, getting this thing ready. And I'm gonna take you guys along and show you what we're doing. Okay, so for track prep today, we have a few different things to do. What I'm gonna go ahead and start with is an oil change. Now we do have some Valvoline VR1 10W30 that we're gonna be putting in the car. If you guys watched the last video, you saw that my oil cap was off and this engine had zero oil in it, which is extremely sketchy. So I just wanna make sure to flush the whole thing, put in some brand new oil and let some oil run through the car a little bit and bring a little bit extra for the track. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the oil change and then we have some brake bleeding to do and some little spoon parts. It's gonna be cool. Well, the oil looks clean, which is good news. It's really sketchy that the oil cap was not on the car, but it looks clean. Looks like there's nothing in it. Good to go. Also, before we get too far, I want to give a massive thank you to Valvoline for making sure that the S2K is hooked up. Of course, you guys know S2Ks do take 10W30 and this being on the track, the VR1 full synthetic race oil is exactly what I needed. So just wanted to give a big thank you to them. Valvoline is amazing. So the S2K calls for about 5.8 quarts of oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. <laughs> So now we're actually gonna bleed the brakes. First track prep video, I actually found out that my caliper was seized and the brake pads were like completely separated and broken. So I went ahead and upgraded to the Spoon four pot brake calipers and then we bled the brakes, but the brakes still felt a little bit soft on the track. So I wanna bleed them one more time, get a little bit tighter feel and these should be good to go. Before we put the wheels on, check this out. We have spoon lug nuts. These are sick. Just for some JDM points, some star points here, but let's go ahead and uh, lead the brakes. Let's turn the air compressor on to work. Okay, so currently we have Zach going ahead and bleed the brakes. I am using some Motul brake fluid, and I'm just gonna be maintaining uh, the level of brake fluid that we have right here while he bleeds the brakes. We're using the air compressor, so we don't have to like do the whole pump method, which I think will be a lot easier. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour in the brake fluid. Okay, brakes are good. Oil change is done, brakes are done. Now usually we would check like the trans and the diff fluid, but since we did that under a week ago, we know that that's fresh and that's all clean. So if you haven't done it before and you're taking a crotch to the track or anything like that, that's something that you would definitely want to look over, but I know that's clean. We literally just did that, so we are good there. Gotta have the JDM scene points. Spoon lug nuts, these are gonna go on the car. We're replacing the old Muteki lug nuts. We have the spoon lug nuts. These are just like a, just a little cool thing to throw on the car, but gonna do that, gonna keep the rest of the VR1 just in case the car needs it tomorrow at the track and we'll be good to go.
driver who helped me at Chuck Walla this, this past weekend and Matt's taking his M4 to the track to Buttonwillow with me. So we are gonna go take the S2000, let some oil run through the engine and he's gonna drop his car off for an alignment. We're gonna come back to Art of Attack, hang out for a little bit and then we are both driving up to Butt Willow tonight to stay the night so that we can get like an early start at the track tomorrow morning. It's gonna be awesome. Matt's M4 is literally insane. It's so cool. Full track spec. You guys remember Rocket Garage is who did my alignment and they did an incredible job. They're about to hook up Matt right now and they have a pretty sick S2000 up there that I'm gonna go check out. Full track S2, this thing is sick. I wonder if this is the real hardtop. It's nice though. It's got the evasive cage inside. Oh, I love whatever kit this is on. Best thing about an S2, bone stock, just some suspension and arrow on it. It's literally all you need for an S2000. <laughs> all right, couple of hours later and we have made it on the road. We got Matt's M4, all good in the line, ready for the track. We reloaded the S2K and we even met up with someone we have Jay Cray, as you guys probably know him on Instagram. He took out his LC, what is that, an LCF? I don't know. It's like an LCF or something. He's gonna drive that at Button Willow tomorrow. He is crazy. So we're all just filling up with gas because we are gonna go up to Button Willow tonight and just save some time for the morning so that we are already there, the car's already there, and it makes it super easy for us. So we just got done filling up. Now, I think we have about an hour and a half left, and then we will be at Button Willow. So. Let's send it. Let's go Let's check this thing out. I was about to close it. <laughs> this thing is absolutely wild. Oh my God, this is going on the track. Dedication. Well, uh, welcome to YouTube Cribs Motel 6 uh, Racetrack Edition. So, I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the uh, the racetrack crib that we have going on here, and Motel 6, we got this. Okay, so, be completely honest, that was not supposed to happen. This key card literally never works, and the one time I do it for the camera, it works. It's cool, it's cool. So this is uh, this is what we got going on here. Actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be for a Motel 6, $50 room right by the racetrack. It's actually pretty cool. I did a solid inspection on the bed for some hair and uh, I found a couple, but I didn't save them for you guys to see. Let's check this pillow actually. It's gotta be a nice, nice black hair somewhere. I don't know, I did a hair inspection. I found a couple of dusties in there. Pretty gross, but overall, it's not that bad. Even though we are in a pandemic and a virus, we should be washing ourselves. The Motel 6 comes with no soap, shampoo, or conditioner, so I will just bathe myself in some nice dry water. That didn't make any sense. It's fine. I don't need to be squeaky clean. I should have brought my own, but I didn't think about it. Anyways, this is uh, this is our this is our pad for the night. We are gonna go ahead and get some rest for the racetrack tomorrow. We got an early morning, and I want to be well rested to put the car on the track and have a really good day. I am so excited to be driving at Button Willow. I've just heard nothing but good things about it, and it's such an iconic time attack track that I'm stoked. And my first ever competition will be at Button Willow. I am shooting to compete in Super Lap, which will be around November-ish and at Button Willow, so this will be a good tester to see how I do on a basically stock car for my first time ever, so I'm stoked. Finishing up my video for you guys, and then I'm gonna go to sleep. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are excited for the next track day. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and like the video. I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully no bugs crawl on me while I'm sleeping tight. See you guys in the next one, peace out.